Hello everybody and welcome to LT Outdoors. In this episode I've actually been called out to do a little bit of a, um, it's just a fun little thing. It's a uh, 40 things about me. Um, I guess you can call it a challenge. Uh, my buddies over at Michigan Homestead the Ruckux. Um, if you haven't checked out their site I, I highly recommend it. Um, they've commented on some of my videos. You'll see their names on there and stuff. I'll post their link on here. Uh, they've got a really cool channel. They're just they're another Michigan YouTube channel. So those of you that like watching our state's YouTube channels, highly recommend it. They're good home hometown people. They're just you know straight down to earth people. They're they're really nice. Um, I haven't got to meet them in person yet. I really hope to though. They're just uh, really good people. But yeah, they tagged me in this post about doing a uh, 40 things about me deal. So that's what I'm gonna do. And they have a whole list of questions, and make sure you watch to the end of this because uh, I am going to be tagging six other channels in this. So you got to see who if you're in on this or not. Um, but yeah, there's going to be six channels that I want to do this to. Uh, to start things out here, first question: Do I like blue cheese? Well, it all depends. The only way that I've had it that I enjoyed it was uh, they sell this mix of slaw that's like blue cheese and bacon. I like that. That's good stuff. Goes good with a steak. Uh, number two, Coke or Pepsi? Well, you'll notice in a lot of my videos, there's always Pepsi cans sitting around. I love Pepsi. I drink a lot of Pepsi. That is my jam. <laughs> and uh, I noticed in the video they were talking about Fago because it is, you know, Michigan's pop, you know, Fago. Um, as far as Fago goes, I do love Fago. Cream soda is my favorite if it comes down to Fago. Uh, relationship. Um, divorced single so <laughs> yep uh number four whiskey tequila or vodka well let's see whiskey makes me mad and ain't like mean tequila i get a little wild with so i'd have to probably say vodka would be the safe bet and i i probably like chick it up a bit i'll mix it with some lemonade or something that's pretty much how i take my vodka because <laughs> pretty much i'm a beer guy miller light that's what i drink uh, let's see, number five, hot dog or cheeseburger? Have to go with burger. I'm not a big fan of hot dogs. Uh, you guys did mention that, you know, uh, we got our hometown hot dogs here. We got uh, Kogel's, our Michigan brand. If it comes down to eating a Kogel, yeah, I like Kogel hot dogs, but no matter what, I love a hamburger. I'll take that over a lot of things. <laughs> um, favorite food? All right. A lot of you are probably going to guess fish because... That's pretty much all I eat. But to be honest, if I could afford it, I think my very favorite thing is a steak. But it's got to be a really good steak. I don't like cheap steaks. That's why I don't go out and buy a cheap steak because I don't want no tough beef. I'll take, you know, so I'll, I'll eat possum over some tough beef any day. But, uh, yeah, there's actually a cut of meat. Um, oh, what the heck's the name of it? I, I do buy one cut up here. I haven't bought any in quite a while because I just can't afford it. But they sell one at Chris Mart that I really like. Uh, let's see. Drink in the morning. Um, I used to drink a lot of coffee. Uh, anymore, not so much. In fact, I usually have a Pepsi. <laughs> I have one Pepsi and I'm out the door. So that's about it. Can I do 100 push-ups? Probably not. I, I honestly... I think 25 might be my max anymore, especially after falling out of the tree stand. Yeah, it's probably kind of hard to see right there, but yeah, it's my wrist is wrecked. I can't put much weight on that for long. Um, favorite season? Oh, a lot of you are going to hate me for this, but I got to go with winter. I, I love my ice fishing. I could, I could live in my ice shanty. I really could. I think Ruby could too. She loves the ice shanty. She loves to go out fishing with me. So, yeah, I'm going to have to say wintertime is probably my favorite. But it all depends. I hate winter if we don't have good ice. So it varies. And I think if it came down to it, if I had to pick a second season, it'd be spring for sure. Um, favorite hobby. See, that's kind of tough for me to pick because, uh, you know, I don't really consider fishing and hunting a hobby because that's basically my life. Um but a lot of people do consider that a hobby, so I don't know. I'd probably say fishing if I had to choose one of them because, yeah, that's I, I do a lot of fishing. Uh, tattoos, yep. I got a shark on my right arm there. 
Um, on my left arm here, I've got Bass Assassin that goes down the side. I've got LT with a armband that goes around, and then I've got my bass jumping out of the water after a spinner bait. Yeah, I love the bass. I just never got to finish getting it colored, but that's probably my favorite. Um, do I wear glasses? I sure do. <laughs> I can't really do much without them. Uh, phobias. Honestly, I really don't. You know, there's... Uh, I mean, other. I think losing loved ones, if that counts, that's probably the only thing I'm ever afraid of, you know, and like losing my pup, you know, that's about it, because really, I don't know, I'm not afraid of the dark, I'm not afraid of uh, fire, drowning, not really afraid of much, <laughs> so spiders, animals, heck, I grab possums, you know, I'm not afraid of much. Nickname, LT, I've been called LT for a long time. Uh, I actually got the nickname from my dad because his name, for those of you that don't know, is actually, it was Lowell Thomas Miller, same as mine. And um, he used to be an artist and a lot of his artwork he'd sign with LT on there. So yeah, I kind of took that and went with it. I used to write for the paper up here and I started out with a pen name of LT Outdoors and I just decided to carry that on into my YouTube channel. So yep, LT is my nickname. Favorite candy. Um, let's see, if I had to pick one, I'd definitely go with Sour Patch Kids. I'm a sucker for sour stuff. I love gummies of all kinds. In fact, a lot of you probably don't know, but I smoked for a long time, and I actually quit smoking by eating gummy bears. You know, that was my thing. I've been uh, done smoking for like five, maybe six years now, and uh, yeah, gummies helped me quit, and I still eat a lot, especially Sour Patch Kids. Do I believe in ghosts? Absolutely. I sure do. Yep, I believe in spirits. Um, yeah, all that stuff. So, I don't know. I've always believed in the supernatural kind of things. You tired, girly? <laughs> uh, let's see. Biggest downfall? Um, Probably trust. I think I trust too much because I have been... Uh, I think I've been kicked when I'm down a little a little much and I've I've trust put too much trust into people that I probably shouldn't so yeah I guess I'm just a very trustworthy kind of person and uh, yep I trust a little too hard um, rain or snow see that's another one that it all depends because see I, I like the rain in the spring and summer because it keeps my garden nice and wet and that's what what you need but in the winter time, I like having some snow on the ice. Not a whole lot of it, but I like having some that I can bank around the shanty. Um, I also like having some because it, it darkens the, the water a bit. Because if you've got clear ice, the fish can see you. So, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a toughie. Plus, snow is good for tracking if you shoot a deer or something. Do I have piercings? Nope, I have never had a piercing. Uh, what is your age? I actually just turned 34 in September, so... Yep, 34 years old. French fries or onion rings? That's an easy one for me. I am a French fry addict. In fact, I will try... I love trying French fries everywhere I go. And if you ever get a chance, there is a place in Glenny, in Alcona County here, uh, the Glenny Tavern. They have like a whole big selection of French fries. Like they've got special uh, gourmet French fry dishes. And it's really amazing. So if you're up that way, give it a shot. It's excellent. Uh, have any kids? Only my fur babies. <laughs> Y'all know Ruby. That's my kid. And then, of course, I got Thor. And then you see the kitty running around sometimes. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of fur babies and feather babies. And basically just my animals. <laughs> uh, favorite color? <sighs> I like sky blue, probably. The real pretty sky blue. Can you sing? Yes, I can sing. I love to sing. Um, everybody up here that knows me knows that I go to karaoke every chance I get. Um, of course, now it's going to be closed for a few weeks. But, um, yeah, I hardly ever miss. In fact, I haven't missed karaoke in, I don't know, it's been over a year now. I've been going every every other weekend at least, so... Yeah, I love to sing, and I sing a bit of everything, rock, rock, country, rap, I do a little rap, I, I do love to, I think my favorite's probably, 
rock to sing, but um, people say that I do best with country. Um, let's see. Can you whistle? Yes, I can. Ruby knows. <laughs> I used to be able to whistle just like a baby bird. I can't do that so much anymore. Uh, where were you born? Ann Arbor, Michigan. Yep. Born down there. Um, only lived downstate for a little bit. I think till I was, I don't know, like four. And then we moved up here. I actually would have been like five because Susan was born and a baby. And then we moved up to Oscoda. And that's where, Oscoda, Michigan is where I grew up basically my whole life and I've only been up here to Alcona for uh, seven years I think maybe eight um, siblings yes I do have siblings I have an older brother um, his name is William Bill uh, he lives down right now he's in Ohio um, I also have an older sister her name is Robin she lives in Florida and I have a younger sister her name is Susan and she lives in Oscoda and you guys see uh, Robin and Susan all the time on my live chats. Uh, can you cook? Absolutely. <laughs> I do enjoy cooking. Uh, now that it's just me, I don't do so as much because, you know, obviously I don't want to dirty up dishes if it's just for me. Uh, so I don't make big meals anymore. But I do love to cook and I can make a lot of good stuff, uh, especially when it comes to wild game, um, especially venison, fish. I can do some awesome stuff with that. Uh, do you know how to swim? Absolutely. You pretty much got out living in this state. Yeah. Grew up swimming all over. Are you religious? Um, I like to consider myself religious a little bit. Um, of course, obviously, I believe in a higher power. Um, it's kind of weird. I, I believe in reincarnation mostly, but uh, at the same time, I also like to believe in a heaven just because, you know, obviously losing my parents, it's nice to believe that there's a place that I'll get to go see them again someday. So, I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up, really, but I, I try to believe as best as I can. Um, shower or bath? Shower. I can't do baths anymore. I've tried, and it's just, I'm just too big. <laughs> too big for a bath. Don't work for me. Um, big city or nature? I think that's an obvious answer right there, guys. Uh, yeah, anybody that knows me up here, you know how much I hate to go south of Taos. Like, that's, anything south of Taos is too much city for me. So, like, I mean, I do it to go to, like, Saginaw Bay and Saginaw River and stuff, and I'll be doing it this winter probably to go places, but obviously I'm, I'm definitely a nature guy, and if it was up to me, I would just live in the woods forever. <laughs> so, uh, am I a good friend? I like to think I am. Um, I, you know, I make my mistakes. I think everybody does, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of really good friends that say that I'm a good friend. <laughs> so yeah, I do like to think that I am a good friend. Um, broken bones. Oh, that's a good list right there. Um, let's see. I think my first broken bone was probably my ankle. I broke my ankle when I was trying to show off for a girl when I was like, uh, I think I was 19. And then, uh, or no, it was before then even, I think I was 18, 17, and then I broke my orbital bone, um, my eye socket was all shattered, and I actually had to have reconstructive surgery, I had brain bleeding, I mean, it was a big deal, I was in a little coma, um, that was back in 2005, and then, uh, I broke, let's see, fingers I've broken, like my pinky there never opens up, like, all the way. That one's been broken. Um, what else? Well, obviously my wrist falling out of the tree. You can see that scar goes all the way down. Yep, shattered. Uh, all the bones were like just grit, really. I just totally ruined that. And then I, uh, the the main bone in your arm was split right down the middle. <laughs> yeah, so that was a mess. Uh, let's see. How many TVs? Technically. There's three, but only one of them's plugged in ever, <laughs> and I don't watch that much. Um, I mean, I do love movies. I do love Netflix. Don't get me wrong. I watch a lot of Netflix, but uh, it's only when I'm not hunting, like right now, nighttime. If I'm not on here making a video, I'm usually watching Netflix, like Breaking Bad or something, you know. Um, let's see. Worst pain ever. Uh... 
Well, falling out of the tree was definitely up there, but I think the worst pain was when I ruptured my disc in my back. Um, it herniated and then it ruptured and I lost feeling in my right leg and I couldn't walk for a while. It was kind of a mess. Um, I had to have a surgery done and yeah, that was no fun. That was probably the worst pain I've been in. Of course, I don't know. Like I said, I shattered my head, so <laughs> that was probably pretty bad. I just can't remember it. Um, like to dance. You know, I do. I'm still, I don't know, I have my shy moments, but it's kind of weird. Back in school, I actually won um, the best senior dancer or best dancer in the senior class or whatever in my yearbook. But it was mostly not because I was good at dancing, but it was because I was actually, I, I would put myself out there. You know, if girls wanted somebody to dance with, they would come to me because I, no matter what, I would get out and dance. It didn't matter to me. Um, you know, some guys were shy and didn't want to dance. I would always dance. Not to mention I would go out and I would attempt to break dance, which never went well, but everybody laughed about it. So, hey, it worked. Uh, let's see. Like camping. Absolutely. I love to camp. Um, I lived out of my truck for a few months. I mean, honestly, if, like I said before, if I could live in the woods, I totally would. Am I weird? I... Anybody that knows me will totally tell you the truth on that. I am very weird. I try to keep it, you know, as professional as I can in my videos, but I am an odd duck, <laughs> which is part of the reason why so many people like me. Uh, let's see. Favorite movie or TV show? I added this one in because I noticed there was only 39 questions in the list that I seen. Uh, so I threw this one in. Now, for me, favorite movie or TV show is kind of tough because, like I said, well, I'm a huge movie collector. I've got at least a thousand DVDs, and uh, I love movies. I love TV shows, but I have to say that my favorite is Supernatural. If for those of you that watch it, you already know it is just an awesome TV show. It's got angels, it's got demons, it's got ghosts, monsters, everything. It's just really good. So if you haven't watched Supernatural already, I highly recommend putting it in the queue and checking it out. Um, now, I am also going to tag six more channels. Uh, I don't know if all of you guys are going to do this or not. I hope you do. Um, I'm going to tag in it. I've never tagged on YouTube, so hopefully this works out. Um, but I am going to tag Hook em in the Mouth Kayak Fishing. The guy is awesome. He's hilarious, and he's a darn good fisherman. So if you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you check it out. Uh, the Bearded Outdoorsman, he's got a good, good fishing channel, hunting channel and stuff. Check him out. Um, Volcano Time Lapse. He's a buddy of mine, been friends of mine on there for a while, and he does really cool volcano volcano videos. Um, Nicole Stone Outdoors. Now she is definitely, in my eyes, one of the top female outdoorsmen or outdoors women, whatever you want to call her. She is incredible, and uh, she's got friends that she fishes with too. Um, like uh, Anna, I think it's Anna up North, or I don't know, but she's they're all amazing. Check out. Nicole Stone Outdoors, if you haven't already, because she has some just awesome fishing videos. Um, Sutton's Days. Now, they are local. Like I said, those of you that like local Michigan channels, and uh, especially if you're into, um, you know, gardening, farming, prepping, anything like that. Um, my friends Lisa and Phil Sutton, I've been friends with them forever. They have their channel, Sutton's Days, and it's a good channel. They uh, Actually, they were the ones that got me really inspired to get into YouTube to begin with. So I owe a lot to them. If you haven't already, check them out. Um, and then Little John MD. Uh, he's actually a buddy of mine. that He lives in a whole different country. Um, make sure you guys check him out. He is a metal detecting guy. So, like you've seen in some of my videos, if you haven't checked those out already, I, I love metal detecting. But Little John MD is all about metal detecting. He finds some amazing stuff, and he's just a great guy. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit about myself. And, uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy everything I got coming because I've got some great stuff in, in store. So, make sure if you haven't already, you hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.